and the Mantis A as well. So we're going to random. Okay, Stealth B. Good one to get early. Really happy to see the Stealth B early, to be perfectly honest. Hopefully we don't die. Because this, if we can get this one out of the way, our likelihood of completing 28 ships goes way the hell up. McKean's got to go. But that's okay. McKean still gets a name. Okay, so the Stealth B. It's a pain in the ass. It's pretty RNG heavy, and it requires some uh, luck early on, unfortunately. But uh, if we can manage to get 50 scrap and get our cloaking up to level 3, then we're going to be in much better shape against pretty much everything except for Zoltan Shields and drones. Drones are an absolute fucking nightmare. If we get two like beam drone ships back to back in our first two jumps we probably just lose any drone ships at all and if we get zoltan shield ships that's also like a huge fucking problem for us but uh yeah we do have the benefit of having long range scanners which is nice hopefully we can get some like distresses or something maybe some like double reward kind of events so like it's kind of a little bit risky to just fight any fucking ship with this ship but as long as we're not fighting a drone we're going to be in at least vaguely okay shape so hopefully um, all right, I think that's, I think that's, uh, I think that about covers it. We do start with two humans and a Zoltan on board. We're going to be moving the human over to the weapons. If we can get a guy that happens to be trained in weapons, that is like a pretty significant improvement early later on. I mean, it'll be fine too, but, uh, like it takes a long time to train, like having, being able to fire this fucking weapon enough to train a single point of weapons is kind of asinine. So anyway. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, I guess we're just gonna get started. Uh, we're gonna have the Zoltan be in the engines, so that way he can actually attribute his power to the system. But then also I can have him run into uh, shields and or into out of engines and into the uh, cloaking and grab the power back out of that. So why well, it doesn't have any shields? Yeah, no, the, the stealth bee does not have any shields. None of the none of the stealth ships start with traditional shields. So, okay, so we have a distress. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Hopefully, we can get like a blue option or something like that. That would be nice as one of our first jumps. Okay, we are going to go down to the surface and investigate. This is a risk that I am not willing to take, unfortunately. Leave the madman to his ravings. We have a another distress. Okay, let's take another distress. Okay, we will promise to help here. We have cloaking, so we can get a reward there. 15 scrap, one fuel, and a drone part. Nice. All right, so we're gonna need to take some ship fights. Uh, I'm gonna want to go into the nebula, kind of. Not like, I don't love it, but okay. So this is like simultaneously amazing and shit at the same time. So this is, they have a, they have a drone, which is like a problem. But, like, I don't know what kind of a drone it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take this fight. Hopefully, it's not a bad drone. Okay, it's a boarding drone. That's amazing for us. That's really, really, really good. Okay. So, that's really nice. And he's boarding a non-important system as well. Which is just a bonus. As well. So, that's cool. We're gonna cloak this. Pretty much good to go. Sort of. Very nice. This is a guaranteed double reward, which is really, really, really strong. 18 scrap, two fuel, two missiles, and 16 scrap on top of it and two fuel. Very nice. I am literally a single point away from uh, being able to get my cloaking to level three, which is the single most important upgrade that we can make to our ship. Yeah, we got lucky to get the stealth B this early when we're just choosing random ships. So yeah, I'm definitely uh, happy to get it now. Hopefully we can beat it and uh, not have to worry about it.
Kuno with a 500 bits booty. That is all. Uh, all right. I mean, that's that's really that is really all, isn't it? That is really all there is to it. Thank you so very much, Kuno, for the 500 bits. I really do appreciate it. That's a that's a lot of bits. It means a lot. It helps a lot. All of the love. I just realized my soundboard is not. Uh, I didn't set it up. Here, there we go. Bien, 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 bien. What's up, JT? How you doing today? Ship also has an absolutely horrendous uh, med bay setup, but uh, you know, it's whatever. Just gonna have to deal with that BS. Two, three, four, five. I can get like six jumps out of this sector is like the problem. One, two, three, four, five. But like I don't know what I'm gonna like want or whatever. Okay. Basically it doesn't matter. Yeah, having a two-slot med bay that's in the corner is, like, pretty awful. It's, like, this is probably one of the best ships to get a clone bay on. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have that kind of money. I really hope that we don't get a really bad fight. A single bad fight will end us. Okay. A rebel scout bursts out of the wreckage. Bursts. Like swapping med to clone ship mid late game, yeah, it's definitely worth. As far as at eight seconds, as far as at first volley at sixteen seconds. Just finished stealth B run as well. Nice maxed out ship, but only six point two five K score. Man. Okay, I'm just gonna let that hit. I actually should uh, just probably cloak right now. I think. Because this fires at 16, this is going to fire its second shot at 16, this fires at 25 seconds, minus the 10 seconds on the cloak time, and then minus the 10% uh, uh, firing time. Yeah, yeah, so we just do this. Then he just dies, and we're fine. Yeah, 6.25k is a lot, actually. Nice. Fantastic. 14 scrap, 2 fuel, 2 missiles. There is a store here, but we don't have the enough scrap to, like, purchase shields or anything. So, like, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get our cloaking to level 3, because that's extremely important. So what cloaking to level 3 does is it allows us to cloak for uh, 15 seconds, which is really, really great, because the glaive beam takes 25 seconds to fire. 22 and a half seconds with the guy manning the system. So that means if we cloak for 15 seconds, our weapons get to charge during that time. Enemy weapons do not get to charge during that time. And uh, this allows us to fire our weapon setup in essentially 7.5 seconds, which is faster than almost anything else can fire. So it's really, really good. So like even if this is a small bomb, this fires at 12 seconds, this fires at 16, so they're not even going to get to fire a shot, so it just doesn't matter. You expect to be near 7k if your ship is maxed, I think. On hard mode? I mean, I don't, yeah, I guess, maybe, but... Nope. I don't know. 
I don't know about that. Yeah, you can definitely max your ship out without getting 7k. 100%. Having everything maxed out just means to me that we're 100% over 6k. Oh, we're like, we're very, very likely to be over 6k. Like, the run has to go well for you to get 7k. So, 18 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drone parts. Like, you can, you can get, like, a lot of free weapons and, like, get that kind of scrap to, like, upgrade your ship and that, like, free weapons don't really add much to your score. Fucking can't take an asteroid field. All right, so we're gonna go one two three and then the exit So I'm gonna miss out on a jump this sector. The exit's just in a bad location If we go into an asteroid field, we're likely to at, at the very least take a lot of damage if not die, so Just can't go there Well, their crew member would be nice We have exactly enough money dealing with borders on this ship is a pain in the ass I'm gonna hire this person Mantis and doors isn't like particularly good or anything, but I still think that having having the option here is nice. probably go green or it could have gone green if they would have actually resisted damage it's like really bad for us but two fuel and 12 scrap i gotta name this screwman i wish that we had uh more stuff but mercenary work sure convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship okay your money or your life we get a free, guaranteed a free weapon for this event. Hopefully we don't kill them on accident. That's very possible. Maybe I should uh, do a swipe like this instead. Just to make sure that we don't kill them on accident. them live and return to the settlement. What's up, Driftwood? How you doing today? Okay, 12 scrap and a heavy laser mark one. That is really, really, really good. Super awesome. Excellent. That's actually something that we could uh, we could definitely use. I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm doing very well. I started on my taxes today. Still have more work to do. Probably another. And I, I need to get. I still need to get my tax stuff from Twitch. But. Um. The fuel is definitely good. I guess I'll buy it. We need to get enough money to get my shields online and to get a lot of other things. It's kind of a big pain in the ass, to be honest. Alright, well, we have a lot of hostile sectors ahead of us. We'll take a pirate, sure. Hopefully we don't run into anything super nasty. Bernie said he'd take, a, take care of doing taxes this year. I trust him. I definitely trust him, too. This is kind of, This could be a problem, because they have drone, but I'm just going to do it anyway. problem. Okay. That could be in my weapons, so we're gonna cloak. I don't know, like, where the shots are going or anything like that, so we're just gonna try and guess and cloak as needed. Could be bad. Okay, that's good. That's good. 
That's very good. I've got to get that drone shut off, like, first thing. So we're going to do a swipe, like, that's not efficient. Two, four, six, eight, eleven. Okay. Okay. Very good. That's a risky one. Kiki did not offer to do my taxes. She offered to knock my shit off my desk. Well, she didn't really offer. She just kind of did that, you know? But, like, I mean, I appreciate the... I appreciated it, nevertheless. 19 strap and a drum part. All right. Your mom still does your taxes? <laughs> I miss the old days of doing my taxes. Granted, she's a financial expert who does them for all sorts of corporation uh, and whatnot. So, yeah, fair enough. I miss the old days of doing taxes, though, when I just like work the same, uh, the same like job. I just manage the restaurant. It was like the same job. Like the only thing that would change is like the pay sometimes. Uh, but like, the taxes were just like just take take like an hour. <laughs> It's like, easy peasy. Thanks for liking the retweet, Kuno. I appreciate the Twitter support. W2, check, good old days, yep. Thanks for helping spread the word of the stream. We got lucky getting the Stealth B this early in our random ship selections. Space Pirates, outrageous. Absolutely out friggin' outrageous, man. The fucking garbage. Thanks for the liking the retweet from JT as well. Appreciate that Twitter support. Oh, okay. You just are over there, I guess. Sure. Why not? Yeah, what's up, JT? How you doing today? How was your birthday, Dolphin? Oh, wait, that was two days ago. Never mind. 13 scrap, 3 fuel, and a missile. They just chilling, cool. I suspect being a Twitch streamer is like owning your own small business and confusing as hell. Yeah, it means that I have to like, like, cause I do it on, I do it online. Like I just have to pay more for like the extra stuff and I just have to keep better track of what is and isn't for the business and yada yada, so. I have three states to file for, two salaries and gig work, no tuition, base credits. It's gonna be a fun tax year. Oh boy, Dr. Man. I'm doing good, Jam. How you doing today? 13 scrap, three fuel and missiles. Great. And the fucking civilians ran away. Man, I can't afford this crap. Can't afford this crap. Just gonna let the man just get the kill. Let him get some training in the murdering. Uh, the extra income makes it worth uh, one lousy weekend. Sure. Yeah, it's true. I guess we're just going to take ship fights here. Just kind of just hoping to see, like, if I can if I can find a store. I don't want to go to it right now with the amount of scrap that we have, but like, I want to find a store and then so I can like plan all of my jumps around that. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your generosity. I will take a Steven. I don't intend to use a Steven, but you know, it's good.
cloak now. We can't kill this in one shot anyway, so like we need to just... Disable their stuff. I could gain an extra 50 scrap by selling the two things that I've gotten. Sixteen scrap to misses in a drone part. Uh, I would definitely, we're definitely going to sell Steven, but uh, the heavy laser we could definitely use for quite some time. It's a nice little like one power weapon that can take down a shield. And if we happen to fight a ship without shields, then I don't even really need the glaive beam online. Like I'd like to get this online at some point. But I don't think I want to do it right now. Hmm. Like I need 125 scrap in order to be able to afford shields. So, but I, so I guess I'd, I guess I'd sell them. But I'm still, I'd still be short if we don't get anything here. I'm just gonna go here. What's up, guys? Oh my god, they were baiting all over that thing. Gross. We would definitely like more power as well, but I mean, these are all things that I don't absolutely need right now, and we need, like, our, our very first, like, bits of scrap are so important on this ship, we just can't afford to buy anything. So, can't afford to do that. Hacking, more important than shields. Yeah, not so much. 17 scrap, 3 fuel, and a drone part, contact the refugees. Okay, very nice. Very, very good. A flak and two heavy lasers would be pretty cool, but we should just get our shields, is what we should be doing here. Definitely. So. It's too bad. I think, anyway. Like, I could sell the glaive beam, buy the flak and the heavy laser, and use a flak and two heavy lasers. That's good for a long time. But then I don't have shields, which is like a huge problem. I could sell long range scanners instead of the heavy laser, because the heavy laser is also pretty important. I shouldn't have bought that fucking mantis. We wouldn't be having this kind of a problem. That 30 scrap was a really huge and unnecessary expenditure. Do, do, do. If it's possible for me to come back and like purchase this flak or something, then I should definitely do that. If that'll be possible, but I have to get something pretty crazy from here. It does not qualify. Stress with a ship detected will take. Okay. Any scrap, sure. Definitely do not want an ion pulse. 
We can take these two non-ship detected beacons into this distress and then go to the exit. That's about the only option that I have other than going here, 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 and then the exit. I think I'd rather just have the distress than the ship detected, I guess. Probably get something a little bit more neat. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this will kill. Should really be manning my shields, actually. Okay, fifteen scrap, two missiles in a drone part. Contact the civvies, very nice. 17 scrap, very, very, very good. Okay, cool. That's really, really solid. I think I'm gonna... Billy's favorite is Rock A by all accounts. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, Raida, we're really lucky to have gotten the Stealth B this early just through random chips. Getting the Stealth B out of the way, getting the Rock A out of the way. Uh, Getting the we got the N NGA, but that's not like like getting the NGB out of the way. Getting those ships out of the way will be very important. I'm gonna take this event and go to the exit before I spend my money. Okay, that's pretty risky. We could have gotten an asteroid field, but I do have shields, so I guess it's not so bad. 22 scrap, 3 field, 2 missiles, nice. Should really have my shields online. Try to switch integration mod for a rim world. No. I did wasn't playing the game while it was available, I don't think. I don't know that I would use it anyway, but I don't know, maybe I would. What does it do, gunners? Yeah, 27 fuel is like a shitload of fuel, but... Okay, uh, yeah, we'll take an abandoned sector. It's really fun. Yeah, what does it do? We could make a lot of money in this sector, so... It's a bit RNG heavy, but I love this ship. get a couple of bars of power here. Okay. We definitely still need another weapon. What else? I, what else I want to know about? Twitch Prime. Oh my god. Nobody wants to know about Twitch Prime. Zero people. Faster. The guy that's already low on health, and then we can swap out Zoltan here if we need be, but or the Mantis actually. So the Mantis finish him off, keep his training going, and murder some more people. Nice. You can call for aid, or even raids in the game. Oh, like in chat, or send items like medkits. You can send mech raids if you want. Hmm. Kinda like the mystery of not knowing, though.
wish that we had some better sector layouts than what we've been getting, but it's all right. At least we can't get Lanius bombers at this stage of the game. Beyond butts, Baron. Beyond beyond butts, indeed. They have two two power weapons. So we can only deal two points of damage to it. I think we can do a double room hits on this one. You know, we can only do eight damage if we hit shields first. I'm not sure if I should actually cloak the volley in that instance or not. It is gloomy AF today. Uh-oh. Not sure what's technically better here or not. I'm going to swipe in this direction because uh, what that's going to do is uh, make it so that the Lanius will start repairing this, this, the rock will go to repair oxygen, and then the, hopefully the slug goes to repair that, so that will make them take longer to repair the weapons, I think. Yeah, we're doing the stealth B. We randomly rolled into it. It's, it's just nice for us. Kind of tempting. I would like to not take damage, but I think I should be able to get something better than that. Of my evasion here. Fucking evasion, anyways. Fucking evasion. It's never enough. 24 scrap, two missiles in a drone part. Okie dokie. So this one is super strong and or the super weak end on the ship spectrum. This is a very a uh, volatile ship, I guess you could say. It's susceptible to a lot of stuff because it doesn't start with shields, so you can just die in Sector 1 to a variety of ships, unfortunately. Yeah, thanks Samwise. Hmm. This is not a good ship for us, especially because we don't have another weapon, but I'm going to do this ship fight anyway. New file or just random in general? Like, we're randomly selecting the ships and trying to get the best win streak that we possibly can, Samwise, is what's going on. Okay. Random in general, otherwise ship, ship, ship's not unlocked. Right, like, we have all the ships unlocked. We're not... Sucks, but whatever. Like, I don't want to get shot at by that. If it hits my weapons, we're so fucked. Okay. Ooh. 
Kind of happy it's uh, not no pause though. Hectic to say the least. I don't know. I just don't really care much for playing no pause. I mean, I enjoy it fine, but I just prefer to do this. <sighs> nice dodge. Well, fuck, I just get three evasions. Why the hell not? I mean, that works for me. Should do that more often, I guess. Can I, I think I can wait for that to fire before I cloak. Maybe I can't. got hit by that fucker 80% chance come on man ridiculous it's a fast speedrun ship but it's also an RNG heavy speedrun ship as well uh, 28 scrap good fucking jumped away. Well, we got more scrap than what we were gonna get from their surrender offers, but they also were giving us other supplies. Not that I need them or anything, but still. Chase them, we got time, yeah. What's up, Toe Fan? And Raid if I didn't say hey, I think I did, but. Okay. Stealth B today. Well, that's what we randomed into, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna say, I wanna take a couple of jumps before going to the store. Hopefully, we don't get any more two shielded ships. Fuck. <laughs> God. Oh my God. I might die. What's up, Violine? How you doing today? I, I can't fire this weapon. Well, I, I can, but Fuck off We're never firing this weapon We just have to leave Stealth A with a glaive beam and unlock the B to see that it starts with a glaive. <laughs> you like got a glaive beam uh, of that on purpose? Oh, jeez. That's rough. Fuck off! God, fuck! Jesus. I 
I really want my cloaking to be back, because otherwise we don't... Alright, we're just gonna jump. We're just gonna jump to the store. Fuck it. I can't... can't do it. Okay, none of this is any good for us. Tried FTL on a tablet. Brutal. Died after two sectors. Learned, only learned how to pause on it after like six jumps. <laughs> Probably learn how to pause. It's definitely a pretty important aspect of the game. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend any money yet. I'm gonna go to this other store. Yeah, somebody, some people were speed running on tablet. I don't know if they were using a mouse. So I have no idea. I've heard that it's good. If you have big screen, well, I actually, I've only just recently started running FTL in full screen. I always used to play it on like a small screen, and I would definitely think that it's actually nicer to play smaller. But well. If you have to pause like crazy on tablet, then it probably makes you a better player. <laughs> uh, 26 scrap, 3 fuel, and a missile. Contact the Mantis. Nice. 19 scrap as well. Cool. Great. Hopefully we can get something good here. Be hard more than for the first time on tablet. Never want to play that again. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is bad, chat. God damn it. What's up, Anarcher? How you doing today? I need a weapon. I need, or hacking. If they had a if this was a combat drone, I'd probably just have to take it, but that's not, so. I actually got I ha I got a heavy laser earlier, but I had to sell it to buy shields. I hope they don't hack my weapons. Okay. Good. Not the sensors. Whatever will we do? Terrifying. Silence with a 32 months. What a boss. Can we get some Wasman hearts around here? To welcome Silence back. Thanks a bunch, bud. I hope you're having a good day. Don't leave the love line around. Pick it up and take it with you, okay? When you're playing Hyper, I can't like quite a few shops look Lanius. When you are playing Hyper, can't like quite a few. I don't know what that means. I don't know that I don't know that series of words. 29 scrap, one fuel, and a drone part. Oh, Hypernova. Okay, yeah, and can't... Can't lie, quite a few ships looked like a Lanius. Got it. 
that that sentence changed drastically with just a couple of changes. Good lord, what is going on here? English can be hard mode, need to pause more, yeah. Nice, we got the missile offline, that's really, really good. And we even got an evasion. Every evasion is so freaking great that we get. <sighs> He's not charging his FTL right now. I think we should be fine to kill him. I think. Have you ever tried no pause? Yes. We've done no pause on all the ships, and we've even done some wind streaks and no pause. I just, it's not my preferred way of playing, so. I mean, we do speed runs, though. It's not that we don't pause in speed runs, we do, but still. It fires. Has Kiki played FDL yet? Um, a little bit. Not really a lot, though. One scrap, one fuel, one drone part. Very nice. It's gonna. I mean, it's such a good value. Wow. <laughs> Rock controlled is like actually worse than an abandoned sector for us, even though abandoned sectors are like absolutely fucking horrible. Oh boy, hopefully we get a store. Oh Jesus, this is not a store. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a pretty this is a really good fight for us, so that's good. I don't think this works. I don't think this does anything. I don't think we get extra hits out of it. I also don't think that it matters. So. As far as at 13 seconds, as far as at 17 seconds, so it's fine. It's all good. Oh. All right. Fortunately, they don't have a value point in shields, which makes my life a lot easier. Not like that last ship that we fought. Okay. Very nice. Uh, 33 scrap, two fuel and a drone part. And we got 27 scrap, a missile and a drone part on top of it. Okay, I need a store so fucking bad, though. Can you get three beams? Yeah. Absolutely. We would need hacking. Hacking would be our savior, just as much as a weapon, if not more than a weapon. Ugh, more scrap. This is great. Still need that store, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I, need a, I need a weapon or hacking. Hacking would be preferable at this point. But uh, 41 scrap, two fuel, and a drone part. Super nice. Can I get a store? Okay. 
listen, store. I need, I need you. I need, I need you to, to, to have the things that I need. Okay, I need it so bad. The store is instrumental to our success in this run. So if just have some things. Okay, they have flak. And they also have an auto reloader, which saves us sec seconds. I mean, have, they have a guy that's trained in weapons, too. Okay. <laughs> well, they, you got, well, you got one Vulcan, right? Alrighty. So we need this flak, and we also need to get this flak online, which I do not have the money for, unfortunately. I'm just a little bit short. So I... Fort, that's kind of sucks. I might need to sell my long-range scanners. It's so important to get the flak online. So, so like, we could potentially run into multiple ships that just have level 3 shields. And that would be a huge problem. Long-range scanners are great. They're super duper good. But they are not currently... My, like, like, I could just, like, hard stop on, like, making any scrap, which would be a huge problem. So... I think we're gonna sell the long-range scanners. Don't I don't really think that it's actually that close, but uh, could take the eye bomb. Yeah, I mean that's actually legitimately not no kappa or anything. Like that's a good option because it does do a lot to uh, to support the glaive beam. However, I think I'd rather just get the flak online. Well, the problem isn't whether or not I can get the scrap gain. Like, maybe the... Uh, actually, maybe the Ion Bomb is worth it. Because we can just... It's like a loss. So this is a loss of 20... Okay, so let's let's think about this. This is a loss of 27 scrap, assuming we buy it now and then resell it later. Yes? Selling the long-range scanners is selling long-range scanners in Sector 4. Halfway through Sector 4. A greater loss than 27 scrap I think probably the answer is yes uh, like 100,000 percent actually yes <laughs> so I guess when you think about it like that we're gonna buy the ion bomb but we want the flak still buy some Gary clones those don't help me kill enemies unfortunately so so let's buy the Ion Bomb, and we'll get that uh, online. Hey, what's up, Bouncy? How you doing today? Do, 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 do. Good luck with your space-based domination. Yep, we are spreading the word of peace through force. I'm not super excited about the Ion Bomb. It has its own problems. Like, it's very slow, and if it misses, it's just, like, a huge problem. So it's not super good on hard mode. But we'll use it. You got the Bomb Strike. Works well with Perfected Strike. Yes. Correct. It does four points of Ion damage, so it... It, uh, it takes down two levels of shields. Has anyone tried to do a pacifist run of this game where you only attack when you're against the final boss? I wonder if that's possible. That's definitely possible. It's just very unlikely. Because, I mean, I mean that, that what, you're, what you're talking about is like the perfect speed run. A run where you get no ship fights at all and you just fight the flagship and kill it. 
Like, that's the ultimate speed run. So yeah, that would be... That would be a really good run. So amazing. Because ship fights are slow. Even if you have the pre-igniter, ship fights are slow. Animations of ships dying takes time off of your run. So like, the perfect speed run, yeah. No ship fights at all and fight the flagship and you have to like get enough scrap of course to 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 get the weapons to kill the flagship but still that would be pretty sweet A Taz run would definitely use, like, skips. Like, you could... I'm sure, like, if you... if Like, there, there are people that are really, really good at, like, figuring out, like, errors and, and, like, ways of, like, breaking the game that are, like, kind of unintended. Like, in... in When we used to speed run Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, it was, like, people pretty as soon, as soon as like a couple of people like started really kind of digging into the game and like watching like the values of the game while they're like running it in an emulator like they're just they figured out how to like use the saves um or rather the recall like the recall when you when you recall from a location back to the tavern and then back to another place you can use like a save location or whatever and basically like you like chain you like have that grid location saved with the recall potion then you recall back to that grid location on a different map and you can like bypass huge portions of the game so like so yeah there is like a sector skip first try there you go There is a sector skip. I, I don't have the... I used to... I swore I, like, made a command for it, but, like, I don't have the command anymore. But there was some... some Somebody with, like, the name Mantis in their name, like, did a sector skip on accident, and I've never been able to replicate it. Unfortunately. But there is... It exists. I just don't know how to do it. Nobody knows how to do it consistently. But that could be a huge time save. Could like shave a minute off of a, you know, a 12 minute, 40 second run. Just Thomas's world record. Thomas is the moderator of the forum where he has a world record run. Yeah, that was the same way with uh, Baldur's Gate. My, my 1302 time is like so close to that to that record considering we didn't have a pre-igniter yeah somebody was talking about that yesterday and it does sound like a pretty interesting uh, idea to me for sure the problem is is like unlocking like completing achievements to unlock f next like the following ships man that's like a pretty big pain in the ass on some ships but yeah it could definitely it would uh, it would only take 36 hours you could do it way faster than that i'm sure like 100 percent you could do it in 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 less than like 12 hours hunt like no questions and you could probably do it in less than boy i don't know you could probably do it in less than five hours but the thing is is like you need to rerun ships and like that kind of stuff takes time but you don't really need to beat the flagship uh very much you just need to get to like sector eight a lot of the time that you could just reset so i assume 100 percent speed run doesn't exist <laughs> oh fuck no Fuck no. That would take a long time. That would... Because there's so much RNG involved. And a lot of, like... A lot of achievements take time.
Single setting, 100% file. We got this. Yeah, it would take like 100 hours. If you're lucky. You'd have to be very lucky. I can inquire about the process. I don't have any money, though. or something like that. Alright, sounds fine. Saw a Twitch clip of a person doing a sector skip. Right, that's the one that I'm talking about. I just don't remember what the person's name was that did it. So, yeah. Really done fight. Oh, I spoke too soon. Yeah, yeah, it's way too early. Have you seen the zero punctuation for FTL? It's a classic. Yes, I've seen it. Yahtzee's still doing his thing, even to this day. He just keeps on. He's got a formula and he sticks to it. I don't think that that's like the reason the Anarcher. Like, but okay. Lanius bombers are some of the absolute worst chips in the game, but you know, whatever. Just fucking attack him, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Vent out Alanius. Yeah, that's bad. That's very bad. This is why the Ion Bomb blows ass. <laughs> it may be people don't want to see two minutes of ads. Anarcher, like, I understand that, like, yeah, like, it's just not, like, people aren't, like, leaving Twitch in droves and, like, deciding, you know? It's just, like, like, everything for me has been going, like, down. And like the other, like other people and other, you know, people in like similar situations to me are like not having that kind of issue. At least not to like the level that I am. So, okay, there you go.
grabs with that brand new Submarino. <laughs> Can we get some Wasman hearts around here to welcome grabs to this vehicle Bill Wasman love? Thank you so very much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Don't leave any of that love lying around. If you do, it's going to sit around and chat, get nasty, dirty, dusty, moldy, musty. Ain't nobody going to want it. I think I'm going to have to attack his weapons because, like, we're nowhere near, like, even if he doesn't have a value point, you know, we just need to, like, take one weapon offline. Oh, that's lucky. That's good. I need to kill this guy, too. Which sucks, but I just have to do it, I think. I think I'm going to just try to... Eye on this out. Okay. okay. It's fine. Good. Cool. Perfect. Fuck. I've cu I could have closed that just in time. Now if he boards me again, we're going to have a pretty huge fucking issue. But whatever. Okay. Good, good, good. Grabs loves the ads. That's right. Unbelievable. No. Good fight. 35 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drum part. Nice. Alrighty. So you know, there are a million scrap to get this flak online, and we'll be a lot more consistent than the ion bomb. Because, like, even if the flag hits one shot, like, that's frequently good enough, you know, for us to at least do something with the glade beam. But if this whiffs, we have to wait 20 more seconds. If this if this completely whiffs, we have to wait 10 seconds. Right? So. So, pretty big difference. Okay. Recently attacked, uh, Survivor. Uh, colony that was recently attacked, find a lone survivor. This guy will be t randomly trained in a single, uh, system. We'll, uh, we'll take, uh, take the crew. Okay, he's a shitty human. Okie dokie. You got it. Tofan gets the name. There you go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we have two more jumps till we gotta be to the exit, so we can take both of these ship fights. That sounds fine to me. Are there, is, there, is, there, is there a risk of losing crew in that event? N not that one. That is only a only a positive event, fortunately. Whew, okay. Terrifying. Fucking hate the ion bomb. Sweet. Oh. 
Like the ion bomb was the correct choice over selling the flak. So I mean, or over selling the long range scanner. So it's fine. Stop hitting me! St fucking stop, please! Well, why would we escape when when they are firing two single damage missiles? Like, we're, we haven't even fired a, a third ion bomb yet. It's not- cloaking the missiles is not better than cloaking at the start if we hit our ion bomb, which we have... ...probably a 70% chance to do, pink. So 70% of the time what we did is correct. But, you know... Whatever. I don't want to fire this yet. Should be to get flag online. I need 75 total scrap. 34 scrap. Okay. Good, good, good. Like that fight went fine. It's just annoying. Like when you wait 22 seconds and then you fire and then they and then it misses, right? So that's just why I'm annoyed. It's totally fine. Like that fight went fine. It's to be expected. Like, there's no way that they have more than 30% evasion. I guess it's possible, but there's... There's no way that they have more than 40% evasion, or whatever. Even if they had 50% evasion, still... Char cloaking immediately is way better. Because we get to fire our shot before they even get a chance to shoot. Okay. What are you hacking? Okay. Perfect. Because cloaking lasts for 15 seconds at level 3. It's the whole reason that we got cloaking to level 3 in the first place. Right. Okay. 
I could actually switch the flak, and that would be a lot better here, I guess. But it's already so close to firing, so. Cool. GG, 25 scrap. That's not even that great, uh, two missiles and a drone part, but we can get our flak online now, so that's great. I can't get another bar of power. I can't get a bar of engines. So we'll get that, I guess. So I need, uh, I need like three bars of power. No. Like we want, the, I actually want the bar of engines here so that way when I do cloak, like I can turn the flak off. Like turning the flak off is no big deal. We can get that power back and blah, blah, blah. So that's definitely good. Do that. You only need all the things, yeah. I mean, we still want cloaking. Oh, nice. Yes. Here you go. Have 15. That is great. Let's go to the next sector first. Oh. Oh, we could get another ship fight right now. What's my next sector? Civilian. We'll take the civilian, but... I could actually get another jump and then dive. It's not too greedy. Like, we have level 3 cloaking. Diving is pretty strong here. Have my power bars maxed out, I think, and then had it upgraded during an event. Is that possible? I... Yeah, you can still, like, get the upgrade event. Does it actually upgrade it beyond... All of the these. I don't. I don't know that it does that. I, I think I thought there was maybe a glitch where it did that before, but I thought they like fixed it. This isn't even like a good ship fight. I'll just take the fifteen scrap. You can't get more than thirty power. It seems like I remember. Wasn't there like a some kind of a bug? Oh, that was a. Uh, there was like a backup battery bug. Right? There, there used to be a backup battery bug where you could, like, stack backup battery power or something like that, like, during a fight. Didn't that used to be a thing? Did they fix it? I think that used to be a thing. Dolphin with the knowledge. Dropping the, the knowledge bombs. That's why I don't use backup battery. Too abusive. So abusive. Ion bomb battery? You could ion bomb your backup battery? All right, uh, you know I could actually use the ion bomb, I guess, in this dive. Let's fire at the, fire at their weapons or something. Get the event upgrade, pay for it, and get denied. Yeah, declined. It doesn't it doesn't do that now. Okay. I got back to my PB level in uh, Path of Exile Hardcore, level 62. Nice dolphin. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. Kicking ass, taking names. Good luck, have fun, do good, don't die, kill all, ally victory, no BS. I can actually use the flak. I knew we were dodging that. Easy peasy. 
Get, get freaking wrecked, man! Get freaking crushed by my flak! And we dodged that. 87% dodge chance. No problem. Does this game have a workshop? Uh, I don't know if it has like the Steam Workshop like integration. I don't remember if it does or not. There's a lot of mods for it though. It's no civilian. I've never used any mods for FTL. It's actually not true, but I usually don't use mods. A store? Boy, howdy, I would love to spend my whopping 16 scrap. Let me tell you something, partner. I would love to spend my 16 scrap. Use the background mod, it's nice for runs, you know it'll take a while, or try harding. Sure. a mod that show me what the risks of event choices are it's called wikipedia i don't know there's there might very well be a mod that does that though so you boarded me with two dudes twin just balance mod is a very uh very good mod for sure I like the unbalanced nature of the game, though, so that's why I choose to not use Twinge's balance mod. Like, all of Twinge's mods make sense. Like, making some overpowered things less overpowered, some weak things uh, more powerful. Balancing. You could use the word balance, but I like, I like the broken, quote-unquote, nature of the game. I like that there's good events and there's bad events. Uh, the one the one thing that I would probably like is to have the the rock ship have the explosive replicator. Jesus Christ, would I ever love that? <laughs> I know positive negative outcomes with most blue options. Uh, I like the unknown risk reward. I think Wiki tells like the exact percentages of good and bad things happening though. I think. But Spot really just has a way with words, doesn't he? It's really it's pretty magical. His method of buttification is just second to none, really. Second to none. Just take these ship fights, I guess. Just want to make scrap right now. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy. He locks weapons. I lock weapons. Alright. I think we just still cloak early. This is kind of a weird ship fight, to be honest, but... Probably just want to cloak early, anyway. Okay. Try to escape? Yeah, fuck you, man! Fuck that. If you hit my weapons, I'm gonna scream. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Fuck. 
could have cloaked before that fired. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was very close. Goddamn Hermes missiles anyways. 38 scrap, one missile and a drone parts. Gotta get that Mantis uh, repair training, you know? Too hard between watching you play and playing myself. I understand. I don't really like having only 11 hull, but... Here we are. Okay. I think I'd like to get another bar of power. Make my life a little bit easier. What's up, Gorbachev? How you doing today? What's going on? Why is everything so horrible all the time, chat? Can you explain it to me? <laughs> Does repair training effect put out fire? I don't know. Shouldn't say that about Kiki. Aww. I think I'm gonna fight this ship. That's what I'm gonna do. I think we're gonna do that. As far as at 11 seconds and 12 seconds, like these firing times are bad, but the cloaking really fucks everything up. But I think I think I think it'll be okay. because these two fire at a at a close timing is is the reason that we're going to be just doing this ship fight. So, like, he gets to cloak again before my glaive beam fires. So, like, that's why we cloak three here. So, that's, like, another reason that this fight sucks ass. Because, <laughs> like, he gets to do all the things. And I don't get to do, like, any of the things. But it's his cloak timing is short, so... He repaired that instantly. He's got to have an NG in the piloting there, I'd reckon. I think that's going to hit me. That was close. He's going to cloak again before my glaive beam, which is fine. I thought he wasn't gonna die for some reason. So I thought I, for a second I thought I had a halberd beam. 38 scrap, three fuel, and a missile. Okay. So I really need to get hacking. That would be so freaking great. That would change my life forever. 
Forever and ever and ever. Should try an abduction ship mod. Oh, well, why would I do that? Why don't we have mind control and teleporters? A butt buddy and now now a butt buddy and ship mod. Now that sounds like something I can get behind. Okay. I'm not surrendering my crew to slavers. Except for that one time. I don't want to talk about it. They're resisting everything right now, though. Alright. Fine. Fine, whatever. I didn't want fucking shields anyways. Shields are lame. Yeah, get freaking wrecked. Screw you, man. What happens if you send your last screw to this event? Then you lose. Scrap. Nice. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope there's not another store there. That would kind of suck. I'm going to take the ship fight, go up here, then come back. I need to make sure that I can hit all the jumps that I... I need to in this sector because we have a long way to go. Like, we have eight jumps. Oh. <sighs> Boy. Okay. Okay. It's not so bad. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 I need to save money for resources, obviously. Uh... That's not like too bad. I guess I should probably just take that. on top of that. Nice. Very good. It's very strong. Alright. Now we'll cloak that. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Very nice. Good fight. 22 scrap, and we got the whole sector uncovered for us, which is super great. We have long range scanners, so we were already seeing beacons that we were next to, but. Okay, well, now we know where the other store is. It's behind my head. See? And it's like just an absolute fucking dead end. So now we know that the game hates us. So that's good. Whew. 
who needed those butts? Damn, butts bot. God damn. You didn't know that the game hated me already? No, I didn't. I wasn't sure. It's not that bad, but it's just annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven exits, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. That FTL music, though, it's so great. I just... Just listen to it. I just love it. It's so great. I just love listening to it, even after all this time. So pleasant. How you doing today, Chickenators? I'm not- I don't want to spend the money. That would cost me 90 scrap, pink, and we have- we know exactly where a store is in the sector, and I want that money for that store. Because if we can buy hacking, that's way better than an ion bomb. Way, way, way better. And it would cost me 90 scrap to get the ion bomb online. It's so good. Good thing we only took one hull point. That's a lot of the resources then. Oh my god. I don't even have my freaking guy in, uh... I didn't even heal my crew. What the hell am I doing? Your head's blocking the story. Yes. Yeah. I, sorry. It is. Yeah, we got the flat glaive set up. Healed up, boys. We gotta get ready for combat. Get ready. This distress could have anything. Uh, nope. Alright. Please, store. Have hacking. Have a heart. <sighs> okay. They have another flak. No. That's good. I could use two flak and a heavy laser. If we had a four weapon slot setup, I would snap do that. But in a three weapon slot setup, a heavy laser is not very good. Uh, unfortunately, because like, like I could hope that we could replace it with something else later, but like if we end up having to take that against the flagship, like that would be less than ideal for sure. I'll probably buy the backup battery here though. Too bad we didn't reload earlier. Two flag and glaive. I might buy the reloader here, but it's because it saves me time. I do need to save my money, though. And we need to get repairs. It's like 103 scrap. Well, reloader is going to be good versus ships that we have to fire more than one time, especially, because it'll save me five seconds. Which is good. As well. I 
I don't know. Maybe doing flak flak heavy laser is like good enough for right now. What's we're in sector five and we have two civilian sectors remaining. <sighs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like our likelihood of being able to get anything. Like I want like a hull laser two, a heavy laser two, a halberd beam. Those would all be like really great. And it's so much faster firing than the setup that we have. And it's like less susceptible to like some other stuff. That sounds good to me. Like the only thing that I wouldn't want is like a third flak. Like that's about it. But like hull laser two, heavy laser two, halberd beam, hull beam maybe, pike beam. Maybe. Whole beam would be better than pike beam most of the time. Like, even against four shielded ships, like, I could beat, if we get, if we get hacking, we can beat the flagship with this, which is what we needed anyway. It's just, I wouldn't, like, love to do it. I think I want to buy the backup battery to improve the likelihood of them having a system. I could buy the auto-reloader as well. I mean, that's definitely nice, especially with a faster-firing weapon setup. But the problem is, is like I'm going to be going into the next sector with not very much money in, in that case. And like I need, I really want to have mind control and hacking as my last two systems. So we want 165 scrap when we go to a store next. And I'm going to buy this. So like now I only have to make 100 scrap between now and then, which is pretty reasonable. But like I think 140 scrap. It's possible, but I don't. I only get like two beacons here. Actually, I, can I take this nebula? Yeah, I can definitely take. No, uh, no, not without diving. Which uh, the exit could is going to be an event anyway. It's going good, Vetch. How are you doing today? Uh. Say, you say oof a lot, Pink. This is a good event. Could be good for us anyway. But they're gonna be trying to run away immediately. keep attacking and we would have been fine. You're surprised by the choices. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, like, it might seem like it's... Like, why would you ever get rid of that weapon setup? Because, like, it's a super powerful weapon. But it's a super powerful weapon that takes 25 seconds to charge. And, like, this is capable of so much more. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like, you should almost always do it in that situation, but I guess it just depends. Okay, it's fine. This, this weapon setup gets to fire 
almost three times in that in that amount of time. And this the heavy laser does get to fire three times, basically. In that amount of time. Okay. With this setup we get more training in our evasion too, which is actually kind of nice generally. You know, we don't really cloak immediately. Scrap three fuel and two missiles. Nice, nice. Good, good, good. But Billy, seven missiles, yeah. I know. I don't know how we're gonna beat the flagship without all those missiles. It's gonna be unfortunate. Oh, nice. Maybe go for a crew kill here. But, okay, he's trying to escape. Never mind. We're not doing that. We don't need to cloak. Like if we when we fire a non-beam type weapon. Uh it reduces our cloak time. So we really only want to cloak for a couple of seconds and then just get back to firing at them. 32 scrap, one fuel, and a drone part. Very nice. Okay, so we'll take the civilian sector here. We're up to 127 scrap already, so I'm pretty happy. Distress with a ship detected. And then we'll probably hop over to the nebula afterwards. Could be double, could be uh, just, just like one of the trap events or whatever. Or the fuel one, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. We got the whole map unveiled. Cool. Okay, this is nice. Good, good, good. I don't understand why non-beams reduce cloak time as opposed to a giant red laser that leads directly back to your ship. <laughs> I guess that's true. But, uh, yeah, you could get the stealth. Like, now that we have this kind of a setup where we have, like, a high... Where we have level 3 cloaking and we have fast-firing weapons... Uh, we could definitely stand to have the stealth weapons, which makes it so that any weapon that we fire is, is, does not affect our cloak time, so that could be really nice. It's a pretty good sector to lay out. I might even go to both of those stores, just go to one, and if it has what I need, then continue onwards, and if not, blah blah blah, I don't know, we'll see. Just gonna hit up all these ship fights, man. Basically, anything above 160... Five points of scrap. We're going to be interested in spending. That's a four shielded mantis fuckerino right there. All right. Do you even need anything else? Cloaking and, or I mean, hacking and mind control for sure. And a better weapon than a heavy laser would be nice too. for me. Uh, let me think here. I don't think this is going to fire before this thing crosses my shield line. There it is. 
this this isn't ready to fire yet. I could put my shields down and then try it. But I'm only gonna have 87% evasion versus that. No harm in doing that. Okay, I guess. Whatever. I'm just gonna wait here. I could fire this and hope that we hit their weapons, I guess. And then it's not gonna take this down though. I can use a backup battery to get my engines maxed. I guess it doesn't matter whether or not I cloak right now. Uh, whatever, because my weapons are all ready to go. It's not gonna make any difference. <laughs> Oh, nice. We actually did get it down. Don't even need shields up anymore. Nice. Might get a crew kill. Probably gonna get a... Yeah, definitely. Definitely a crew kill. Cool. Nice. Shwait. Might as well just fire these. Kind of staggered. Get some training. Mm, I accidentally did damage them. I need to not do that. Get them healed up really quick. And we'll get them back firing. Really saw about training humans and pushing limits of their potential. He loves the little guys. Oh my god, never. June 15th, 2016 for me, so it lines up with my sub-ish. Oh, you're really, uh, preparing things, yeah? Good job, Mantis. Dude, Mantis is crushing it over here. go mastery in weapons very good eventually fires are gonna do their thing I could fire on them but like this guy this is already gonna deal an additional point of damage yeah, fuck yeah so it's gonna burn that down before it gets to fire anyway Stupid door manning. I can't, uh. Yeah. Problem is, is like the fire can and will spread through the through the level two doors, but it takes time. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you're not making it, NG. Forty-eight scrap, two fuel, and two missiles. Nice. Thank you. 
Just gonna take all these ship fights, basically. Let's work our way up. Yeah, I don't need you to delay them, I don't think. Do, 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 do. Some more evasion training. My guy in engines hasn't been able to do a whole lot of that. Ooh, nice. Might be able to get a crew kill there. Shit, yeah, let's go. Cool. We can even get a little bit of training here. Nice. You guys are in really rough shape, I gotta say. I think we need to just let this get repaired by this guy because if I fire in here and it like starts a fire it'll burn the ship down we'll just we'll just wait wait it out okay when the AI is too low to repair, so they get to this. This is fine, everything's fine mode. Exactly, Dr. Giggles, yes. I was hoping just to get some, some more evasion, because... We just need the evasion training. Super nice. Nope, oh, there he goes. Uh, nice. 55 scrap, one fuel, and a missile. Let's go. Okay, tell you what. I'll tell you that I'll bring you where you want to go. Alright, I guess that's... I have, I have to go there anyway, so I suppose. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Something like that, anyway. I could definitely spend a little bit of scrap here. But this is a guaranteed double reward. They have drones, an ion charger, burst laser two? Is that a burst laser two? No, it's a basic laser. Wow, that was completely fucking wrong. It was weird because it was like hidden back in there, but it's fine. Nice shot. Oh, uh, okay. Stupid drones getting in my way. Let's see if I can get them again. Just random chance. Ah, way too close. Ah! It was the heavy laser that hit him, I wasn't sure. I like this weapon setup a lot more. It's a lot more kind of interactive, I guess you could say. Than uh, sitting around and waiting for the glaive beam. Okay. 23 scrap, one fuel, one drone part. Nice, 50 scrap on top of that. Let's go. Very nice. Always be lurking. Nothing wrong with lurking, Reckle. Nothing wrong with that. Thinking about some level 2 dudes there, but... Eventually, I don't really... Like, this level 3 shields isn't a super high priority. 
really go there. Could. Hi, Billy. Can't watch continuously, but I'm excited to see the runs for win streaks. Good choice. Thanks, Koopa. Glad you're, I'm glad you're happy. I guess we can... Uh, well... So I guess we could take the quest, or we could take the distress. Like that's that's the thing. And then if I take the quest now, then it means that I have to take this store, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to take both the store. I guess we're gonna do that anyway. Like I could, well, I guess I could go here, 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 here. But then, now nah, that doesn't really work. I guess I guess going like this and just missing the distress is probably fine. Probably okay. Hey, yeah, we got a reactor upgrade. Well, unfortunately, that was my last 25 scrap reactor upgrade, but that's okay. I guess whatever. Oh, thank God they have hacking. I wish we had a four weapon slot set up, but we do not. But they do have hacking, which is super amazing. And we'll save our money for the next store. Tried to shut down my engines. Okay, I'll counteract that, I guess. Green screen is making the edges of your shirt semi-transparent. Yep. Oh yeah, well that's happening too. Try we're trying to erase, erase my previous win streak, right? So that's kind of happening. Almost melted those guys, dang. I'm just gonna heal you up now. Get you in there. Man, don't underestimate that. Don't underestimate that NG boarding crew. You never know, they could come out of nowhere. <coughs> I guess we're just gonna murder them. I could really set the flag to auto fire. Time the hack the uh, heavy laser with it. Hey, okay. fueling 20 scrap, nothing super amazing, but hopefully the store's got something amazing. Mind control would be nice. Or not. We still have another civilian sector though. We could get the clone bay, it is quite good with this uh, with this ship. Does the med bay being in a two slot corner section is awful. Really bad. But I think I'm just gonna save my money. Probably get my hacking to level 2. We'll go to the quest first though. I don't remember what the quest is. Somebody that wanted to be brought somewhere. Reactor upgrade. Okie dokie. Definitely gonna hold my scrap until we see what our next sector holds for us. Okay. Zoltan Homeworlds. Okay. We might be able to find the Peace Envoy. We'd have to find it very early in the sector, but I'll take it over an Uncharted Nebula. Sounds fine to me. Okay, well, that's not gonna be there. Let's get boarded, yeah. Let's upgrade my doors. 
Zoltan fucking police. <laughs> Just absolutely fucking my shit up on this ship. Getting boarded with four Zoltans would be an absolute nightmare. Okay. Just got a missile incoming. Not gonna be able to cloak that in time. Uh, we could hack. Yeah, not having mind control. Yeah. Wouldn't be super great. I could hack weapons here, or I could hack piloting, or I could hack shields. I guess, I guess, so I'm trying to stop the the whole dying thing. I'm probably going to want to hack weapons. The missile's right here. It's a two damage missile. I have 21 drones, so I should really just kind of go ham here, I think. No, not really super interested in that. No, thank you. I needed a breach and a fire in there, and then we still wouldn't have gotten the crew kill, but I could have pretended, goddammit. I could have pretended. Look at you doing... taking down my shields and stuff. Ain't you so fancy. 54 scrap, two missiles in a drone part. Oh yeah, by the way, I just realized how shitty the sector layout is. We've had a lot of bad sector layouts this run, which is unfortunate. I bet the I bet the peace envoy is gonna be back here. Like there's nothing that connects to this exit here. Just this. That's it. I bet the peace envoy we'll, we'll get it like around here and then it'll spawn back here. It's be fucking impossible to do. Sounds great. Let's do it. God, why does the sector layout have to suck so bad? It's like, it's so rough. It's so butts. Alright, whatever. There's no way, I don't want to, want to go up to that upper path. Ooh, look at you. Ain't you fancy with all your lasers. 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 16 and 19, or 20, 21? 21? No, 19, 19, yeah, for sure. So I got a flak too. Still got the hits. Well, that's cloaking. Fucking no good. Fucking garbage. Sixty percent try zero percent. Get out of here. Twenty-eight scrap, one missile, and a drone part. Okay. Okay. Listen. All right. I don't. I don't want an ion pulse. These are all terrible. Fuck you, game! We're gonna have to go to that ion pulse. 
Does each individual flag pellet get a hit check? Like, there's the there. It's it shoots three shots that deal damage, and it also has like the little bits, and those like have like a hit animation, but they don't do damage. Like they can't like you hear the like the like when it hits the ship, or whatever. So those those do like have have that, but like they don't do damage or anything. All right. Ooh, nice. This is actually great. They're being held hostage, so we get a double reward here. So that's cool. Very nice of them to choose to board in that section as well. I'm actually going to hack their weapons here, because it lets me get a crew kill a little bit easier. it prevents them from getting free access to their oxygen, which is good for me. Nice. He's dead. Very nice. Everybody's dead. Look at all these guys having a horrible time. This is great. Bye, Zoltan. Bye, human. Standing in fire? Who would have thought it was bad? Yeah. Who would have thunk it? Seriously, shit on that ship. Ah! Hello, human! 62 scrap, 3 fuel, 2 missiles, and we get a guaranteed, like, random drone and resources as well, so that's cool. Wait. Oh my god. Another another event. Stupid events. Who the hell thought this was a good idea? Dolphin, who put all these shitty sector layouts in the game? Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six exits. That sounds good to me. I'm gonna get my shields up to level two. Or three, rather, I guess. Randy did? God damn it. What about Ranwid? I bet Ranwid did it. It's me, Ranwid! Have any goods for me today? The usual? If I like me, can't make it alone, you know. You do not know this man. I guess we'll probably take damage. Ah, uh, fucking store. Ah, fuck. Fuck, it's storming. Uh... Do you miss Slay the Spire already? Oh, it's not like I was sick of playing Slay the Spire. Just gotta do something different. I don't really want three flak. It's not very good. Like, the heavy laser is better against most things. Double log rage scatters. Absolute insanity. Any hyper today? Hyper. Uh. Nova Drift, you mean? <laughs> hyper Light Drifter? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where I, I want. I need to like end at eight, so that's in uh, like four hours and fifteen minutes. So it just depends on like where we're at. Like if it's if it's like seven o'clock and I've completed a run uh, like right around that time, then we'll play some Nova Drift. Sure. We're playing faster than Spire. Yeah. Is there another store? Not that I see. There could be a store here or here. I bet this is the Peace Envoy, and then it's gonna put it right at the fucking back end here. That's 100% happening. 
It's guaranteed. Verified and confirmed. Why can't you get longer range scanners? Yeah. Could you imagine if in Slay the Spire you had long range scanners? Like, imagine being able to see what was in a store before jumping to a store. And you, and like, you would get, that would be insane. On like you would take so many more branch like you already kind of want branching like options like when you when you get branches and slay the spire that would be nuts though. If you you can see if question marks or fights or other stuff yeah like you could see what events were 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 where yeah that'd be crazy and you could like if you if it is a fight you could see what fight it is. Like damn, that would be pretty op. There's a Slay the Spire mod that does that. There's a relic to let you see what's in the treasure chest. Cool. That'd be way too strong. You can also see what are in question marks. You can see what elites are in uh, elite spaces. Nice. They'd have to change the way the game's coded for that anyway, I guess. I don't know if there's a mod for it. I think the game... I Actually, I don't think that they would, they would bouncy because I think the entire game of Spire is generated... Um, yeah, the I think the entire game, like, every single beacon is generated when you start a run. Like, every single one. I'm pretty sure. If you have a choice of two fight floors, they'll always give them the same fight. That's all. Oh, yeah, I think I think it does. Though. So. Like it wouldn't actually help you make a choice since the next outcome is predetermined. I'm no expert, but I believe that's the case. It wouldn't actually help to make a choice since the next outcome is predetermined. Right, but like the way that you the way that you play the fight would matter and like depending like the way what what direction you would jump would make the difference. What 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 like path you took would make a like knowing what's there would make a would be a large impact on, on what direction that you went. You would only have to see the one that's next to you, too. Like, you wouldn't have to see the whole thing. But it would still probably be too powerful for, for the standard base game. Fight question mark and fight question mark fight will have uh, the same two fights and, and events. Fight fight question mark and fight question mark fight will have the same two fights and events. Oh, you mean like on parallels they all they do? Like they they do have the same fight? I'm pretty sure. Oh. I don't well, no, I don't think so because or wait. No, question marks have to be determined like as you go because like the way that question marks work in Spire is like when you like basically for every question mark you jump to that doesn't have like a store on it or a chest or whatever or like an event or like a non-fight event like that increases the odds of those things happening That's why dailies are always the same-ish. Hmm. Right. Right. Okay, I see what you're saying. Sure, sure. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're buying anything here. I don't really want the flak. It's really not much of an upgrade over the heavy laser, if at all. And it's like, it's like actually worse against some ships, and it doesn't cause breaches or fires, which the heavy laser does. I, and we have hacking to like take down shields, so like, yeah. Like, like I, the pike beam would be better, but it's like kind of slow, and I think I'd rather have the heavy laser. 
so. It's gonna go into the fucking ion pulse. I'm a masochist. Hopefully we get a store here or here. Third flag, you said you needed that, right? No. Definitely not. No, 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 no. Not to be super cheesy to go offline. Oh, wait. No, wait. Not to be. I, I started. Doing the, uh, doing the thing. Not to be super cheesy, but I'm fucking loving this stream. You're never allowed to go offline. Sorry, Kiki and Kuno. Oh, man. Yeah, that's kind of rough. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Bouncy. It really means a lot. It makes me happy. Like, I started reading your first line. I started not to be super cheesy, but go offline. Sorry, Kiki and Kuno. <laughs> like, that's what I kind of read at first. I was like, wait, what? What the fuck is that? Fuck you, Bouncy! Like, Jesus. <laughs> 46 scrap, one fuel, and a drone part. Not to be super cheesy, but you suck. Oh, I understand. I guess. Fine. Oh, yeah, we did get another store. That's awesome. Hey, we got mind control. That's cool. Oh, look. A hull repair drone. I wish this was a hull laser, too. I'll buy mind control, though. Okay. Pretty golden here, then. Whole slapper laser. Yep, this whole laser right here can hold so much salt. Today has been too funny. Works drum, best drum. Glad you're having fun, Samwise. Fire beam for the lulls. All right, you talked me into it. It was a very hard sell, though, just to be clear. <laughs> I don't really need level five engines. Q run end to hull damage. That's fine. We'll roast the first form of the flagship is what the plan is right now. Uh, Christ's sake. Oh my god. There we go. You guys have a lot of missiles over there, by the way. Like, holy shit. Who gave you that many missiles? That is not okay. You're not supposed to have that many missiles. I'm definitely supposed to uh, have cloaked. Oh, no, this is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even need this backup battery. I don't know why we did that. Cloak what we want, I guess. Whatever. Don't do it! You son of a bitch! Come on, Dylan! Dylan, you son of a bitch! Alright, hang on. Gotta... There we go. Much nicer. I like that. That's good. 
It's got a flagship, but it sucks in automated ships, and a three-slot ship doesn't have anything to make up for it, right? That's why we're not... That's why we didn't equip it, right? Like, we don't want it. Uh, we don't want it for anything but the flagship, so we'll just hold on to it until the flagship happens. Butts... <laughs> oh my god. Butt spot. Butt spot? What is going on? Butt spot. Alright, 45 scrap. Nice. Butt spot is super lewd. Yeah, he's butt spot. This is gonna be the peace envoy. Watch this. Oh. <sighs> Send it away, party. Yeah, I knew I'd catch some federation with fish with this signal. Prepare to be born at scum. Okay. Yes. This butt has so many slots, like you don't even know how many slots this butt has. Don't even know. I'll hold my mind control for right now. Slotty butt fast. <laughs> yeah, it's close enough anyway. Uh, that's my control, this guy. Have him murder him. Are you gonna board me again? That would be pretty cool for me. Five percent of Beijing. Eh? I don't want to hack him. I, I don't want to do it. Not yet. Shoot down his oxygen, maybe. Just mind control him again. You know what? Screw this. Uh, I'm not gonna try and figure this out. <laughs> Just wrap this up. To the exit! We never found the peace envoy. So we couldn't spawn it in a place that we weren't able to... Okay. Holy freaking crap, a weapon just floating around in space. Holy crap, Brian. To the last stand. 
You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security, and an officer sets up direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What the hell's the meaning of this? Who the hell are you? Get the hell out of here. Come on. Can't just come in here with your flags and your heavy lasers. Where the hell's your glaive beam? That's what you started with. Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terzo of the Yankee Brigade speaks up. Like, oh my god, you guys. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. We're scholars save none. I bet you guys didn't even know that. Like... I've been telling you for like two weeks that there's this giant flagship that we have to destroy. Becky was telling me about it. But like, you guys never listen? So like, you don't even know, okay. Becky was telling me about it. Do you have any idea how many rebels Becky had to sleep with to get that information? Like a million rebels, like every single rebel. There's like a million of them and she slept with every single one. It was ridiculous. Explain the weakness. Try the response. It's settled. The rebels will be in a matter of moments. We do the cannon hold off the warships, but you must succeed at destroying the flagship. Your current outpost can provide two appeals and fuel, and the other passage can provide eight as well. Good luck. Now get the hell out of there. Go. Come on. Then after you're done with that, go ahead and get some space choppers for us. You know, we need those. We need to go ahead and get some space choppers after you destroy the flagship. And then bring them back here. Becky's such a sly, like, you don't even know, okay? Like, you don't even! Oh my god. Oh my god. Butt spot is working overtime, yeah. I don't know why I did that. But you know what? We did it anyway. Nice. That works. That's not too bad. Must be my lucky night. Yeah, you should buy a lottery ticket. Or a butt spot ticket? No, I don't really... I'm not really sure what would be better. Probably a butt spot ticket. Definitely win with that. Alright. Auto scum. You dead. Ooh, the Sector 8 store, baby. He's taking the long way around. Uh, sure. I don't really know. I can sell the halberd, or I could use the halberd. Using the halberd's fine. Like, it's it's definitely something that I was actually interested in getting earlier. But a guy that's mastered in shields. Let's get to get another mantis. station didn't even get taken over. Crazy. fire beam against the flagship still cuz just it'll be fun. Welcome back Itsugi. that before I forget because I might forget
All right, looks good. I could sell the long-range scanners. They don't really make any difference at this stage of the run, I guess. Dun, 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 Power, please. Thank you. That's a shitty bribe. No way. Screw you, man. You know what? I'm hacking your shields. Yeah. I said it. Fuck you. Dude, yeah, Buttspot has been absolutely destroying it here. Actually, I'm not gonna... I mean, this is, this is, that's, that's way too much damage. They're gonna run away for sure. Actually, I might kill them. Oh, well. Should have just gotten a, gotten a crew kill. Oh my god, we got 78 scrap, never mind. Aw. All right. Very nice. Let's find more power, I guess. Don't really need level 4 shields. They were holding out on me for sure. I'm gonna take another jump here. And then we'll go and fight the flagship. And then we'll have to remember to switch out the fire beam here. We've been waiting a long time for this. Okay. It's fine. Waiting a long time to board my sensors, specifically. I understand. Oh, come on. Come on, Halberd Beam. Man, you guys are having a freaking awful day over there. Not like too pleasant to be on that ship. Detective Butts Butt on the case. All right. Upgrade that. Got another bar of power. I guess. I don't need it. What else are we going to upgrade? I'm not going to get my shields to level 4. Yeah, fuck it. I'm already going to have another bar of power to work with for this fight anyway. Spicy beam time. Okie dokie. Good luck. Have fun. Do good. Don't die. Kill all. Airline victory. And OBS. We're going to burn out the first ship. You hacking man. I didn't let my oxygen get up here. It's been annoying. Well, let's -a go. Uh, yeah, I'm having a good day, Jupin. How's yours going? hitting the shields anyway 95 percent evasion screw you game jeez harsh i think i hacked no we hacked fine that was fine hack. i'm gonna mind control this guy because I don't want him to put out that fire in the missiles. Like, the missiles are the worst thing for me, right? So we want those offline. Oh my god, my flak just blocked that ion. Get friggin' wrecked. Very nice. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't want them to, to put out the fires right away. I want that system to be down. The, the missiles are shitty for me to have to deal with, yada yada, so that's why we do that. Don't do it. Don't, don't stop. No. Bad. Bad. Yeah, what's up, Arshig, though? Hope you're having a good one. Should have had my shields up with my backup battery. Made a mistake. This is the Stealth Bee. We were lucky to get it uh, randomly this early, so that's really nice. Okay. Thought this was a Stealth A. Nope, Stealth B. are having a thoroughly shit day, so that's great for me. See if I can slow this thing down. Probably just gonna kill all their crew. About, the thing about this guy is like he never stops trying to put out that fire even if he's like completely fucked because he doesn't have anywhere to go right so it's kind of a poor poor guy sucks to be him in a situation <laughs> Nacelle thinks everybody's so everything's totally fine. Yeah, he's uh he's still he's still doing over there. He's still doing. I can't cloak. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yes, butts bot. You butts. Yes, definitely. I think I'm just gonna unhack this so that way he can freely move around as he sees fit. Let's just burn, just burn them some more. I think that guy in the middle is probably just gonna die anyway. I think he, yeah. Oh no, he didn't die yet, so cool. Alright, that's nice. Alright, yeah, he's, uh,. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing too good there, uh, Ariel. Why are you not leaving one alive? I guess I should. That's why I unhacked it, so that way he could freely get back to the med bay. I'm just, I was just saying that, like... Like, he might not be able, he might not, like, properly calculate for the fires, you know? Because they only leave, like, he doesn't properly calculate for anything like that. He just, like, leaves with a certain percentage of health. So, 21 scrap, big fuel, and draw part. Like, the reason that we would want to leave a certain guy, like, one one guy alive is that way the AI doesn't take over, and it basically means that the AI is gonna, like, the ship's gonna have less evasion and stuff like that, so. This makes the other two fights a little bit easier, especially the third form. So. I'm gonna take these two jumps, or at least one of them. The, the other one might very well get taken over. We're lucky that they haven't already been taken over. If I can get enough scrap to get a value point in weapons, that would be kind of nice, I guess. Do, 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 do. Oh, fake registration. Outrageous.
What happened to the way? Oh, I only hacked for level two. I see. I didn't realize that. Stop right there, criminal scum. to actually get a crew kill, but whatever. 58 scrap, two uh, fuel, and a drone part. Because the flagship is a, is a gigantic jerk face. He deserves to be... Deser he deserves to have mean things happen. Sorry. You would think, uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You never know. We might take, uh... We might take 28 points of hull damage. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh my god. Accuses me of escorting fugitives. I'm not escorting fugitives. You're escorting stupid. Got him. Okay. Zoltan ship in the 8th sector? Yeah. F's in chat for the energy hacker. I just destroyed his life. Mega dumpstered. Yeah. Nice dodge. 95% chance. I like it. Get friggin' wrecked, man. 62 scrap. That's that was the that was the visual representation of our lyrical destruction prior to the fight's start. Just to, just to be clear. Nice, and 31 on top of it. Dude, getting some pretty wicked sick re rewards. All right. We're really close to actually getting that extra value point, but cool. Let's just, just get more unnecessary things, I guess. All of the unnecessary things, perfect. Your ship's crew thinks you're just a band, and every time they use the synthesizers, they're actually firing weapons unknowingly. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. Yeah, I should have gotten the swag sensors. Oh man. Dang. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Do good. Don't die. Kill all. Allied victory in OBS for phase two of the flagship. placement still hit me rip I think it hit me again god fucking damn it <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ we'll get it eventually Ridiculous. There we go. Okay. Very nice. We'll get there eventually. I'm just gonna fire this now so I can get the shot off. here so I don't have to deal with that stupid thing anymore. Could take his missiles out too, but... Let's do this. Looks like I'm going to be able to cloak the whole shebang here. So 
level three cloak, so we can cloak the whole duration. And the ship's gonna die before anything else happens anyway, so. Nice. Let's do the five room hit. Scrap. Better than nothing, I guess. <clears throat> Technically. Alright. You giant bastard. Uh, don't have any money. Not enough money, rather, to do anything. Well, let's do it. Did you see a version of Dwarf Fortress that doesn't look like the inside of a butt is coming to Steam? Yeah, I was talking about that yesterday. Yeah. We're gonna take these missiles, because taking the missiles when we have level 3 shields is better. See? Told you. Ooh, very nice. That's pretty lucky. It's gonna cloak right now. Ah, wow, they fired very early. There's like a duration, it's like a window of time once that... Once that, uh, noise happens. So I want, I want this cloak to end, like, immediately. No. I was hoping that we'd hit the actual missiles there, but whatever. Just hit the shields anyway, whatever. God damn it. Fuck. GG. Is it an actual dwarf fortress or just a light and rip off? No, it's like the it's like an official dwarf fortress thing from the creative dwarf fortress. McKean Slav, Dr. Math, Retreat at Topan, GG. What do we think the score was, chat? Get your guesses in now. Price is right rules, closest without going over. What do we think the score was? Reckle with the 100 bits, great sermon. Putting a dollar in the box. All you gotta do. If you want to be saved, as I put a doll in the box. The Lord did say, put a doll in the box. Thank you so very much, Reckle. Appreciate it. Uh, we've been, me and Kuro have been watching South Park from, like, the very beginning. And, uh, just yesterday we watched the, uh, the Lord of the Rings episode where... Uh, where, like, they get the, the porno, and it's like they go on a quest, and they have to, like, bring it to Butter's house, and they have to bring it, uh, to the video store or whatever. That's, like, I think that might be my favorite South Park episode, if not, if not one. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's such a great one. Such a great one, though. Get, get wrecked, April. Get wrecked. Get prices righted. GG, grats on knocking out stealth. Be a huge guy. Yes, very nice. We were definitely, uh, it, it could have definitely gone a different way. But, yeah. All right. My guess, 5,200. 5,587. That's very close to our score that we got yesterday. I think it might be within 10 points of our yesterday's score. Who's closest without going over?
52-37, Lunar, 53-72, yeah, that looks like it. 57-11's over. Yeah, 50... Fifty three seventy two. Looks like it. GG. Congratulations, Lunar. Did I win? Yes, you did. Congratulations. You have earned our respect and admiration. But more importantly, you have also earned uh, our sincere gratitude. So try not to spend that sincere gratitude all in one place. Try. I know it's difficult, but uh, definitely try. Because uh, I know the sincere gratitude is also very valuable. So, thank you so very much for the uh, uh, for the fifty five eighty seven asking. I really appreciate that. All of the love. All of the love. Can I carry my guests over from yesterday? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. Yeah, definitely. Yesterday we tied for our most crew hired yesterday with when we did the Mantis A. Yeah, that was uh, pretty good. Yeah, Yesterbutt, you know. Look at that. It's actually on our... I mean, I haven't played this file in a long time other than for speedruns, I think, so it's probably not too... Like, my scores don't look particularly amazing on this one. But anyway, cool.